ne ya aho yo kai ki ma ai ki ma no lu ai ki pu no me ke alo ha alo e alo e alo e Greetings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Aloha! 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 We just I look around here this this morning. I see a, a generation that grew up uh, on the beach when Kiki Sands, like when Jimmy Blairs and, and Carol, Laura, Clinton, Tally Ho, and Lee lived above, uh, right on the beach at Waikiki. Upstairs, downstairs was a surf shop, Valzi surfboards. The only tourists that were coming here was was tourists that came on the Lurleen. Jimmy was a coin finder. Jimmy could find rings, coins, anything on the on the beach. And when the surf was up, storm surf came up, the tides came up. You'd find Jimmy and Trier out there trying to, you know. And in those days, we had half dollars, and a half a dollar you could go you could go uh, back and, and buy a plate lunch for 65 cents at the merry-go-round bar. They had a little delicatessen. <laughs> We'd surf from Publix out here, Bruce Lee and, and Morocco and all of us, Danny Almani, the gang. We'd surf, we'd surf from, from Publix and we'd paddle all the way down to Magic Island to, and, and end up at Garbage Hole, the surf spot that they destroyed when they built Magic Island. Thank God for Punahou High School, you know, even though I was public school pro uh, product, you know, I used to be uh, fortunate enough to hang around with the rich kids, you know, and, and, and take out the pretty girls from Punahou. Heroes are never forgotten, and legends never die. And uh, Jimmy's both a hero and a legend. Hallelujah. Watch over their extended families this morning as we celebrate the life and legend of Jimmy Blairs. And everybody said? Amen. 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 Well, who's going to speak next? Just a lot of love here, so I thank you so much for coming. My sister and I are going to say a poem. My road leads to surfing. Where the bronze surfers go, leads me, lures me, calls me to the salt green tossing sea. A road without earth's just. That's the right road for me. A wet road, heaving, shining, wildwood seagull cries. A mad salt sea wind blowing the salt spray in my eyes. My road calls me, lures me, south, north. West, east. Most roads lead men homeward, but my road leads me forth to add more miles to the tally of the gray miles left behind in a quest for that one beauty God put me here to find. Jim was always even, he was always writing letters telling us about, make sure you tell um, so-and-so that the waves are up on the North Shore. You know, don't worry, Dad always taught us it's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get back up. And I'm back up. So thank all of you for coming today. I know you all love my brother. Thank you. Love all of you. Aloha. I mean, the whole family, the Alana family, the Aikau family, and the Bears, Blair's family, we all grew up together. And I think the neatest thing about my family, the Aikau family, Eddie, is that no matter how famous the Blairs family was, Lord Tally Ho Blairs, big time wrestler, the whole family, every time we saw the, the Blairs family, it was always you know, a lot of love and a lot of aloha and a lot of helping out each other. Jimmy was a lifeguard at Outrigger first, 1972. I used to follow him because he was my idol. Never met the world champ, but it was Jimmy Pierce. My name is Tom Bonetta. Jimmy was one of the first guys I met besides Don Morocco. And the three of them. I can still remember paddling out and surfing for eight hours and coming in and we couldn't move. Jimmy was the best man at my wedding. He was one of my best friends and I remember him forever. My name is Mike Holton and uh, Jimmy was one of those guys that was there from the beginning and all the way through today and uh, he was a brother and I love him still in my heart and I know he's up there and he sees all of this what we're doing for him so everybody be happy because it's a celebration. You see um, before I was a lifeguard I surfed Sunset Beach and I would come in 
and look up at the tower, she'd be like, wow, these guys are awesome people. And there was Jimmy all laid back, so much aloha, so much respect. He treated me so good. And then later we were lifeguards together, but of course, I put 32 years here in town and he put his career in the North Shore and the West Side. But at the end of his career, he moved to town and I got to supervise him. And it was such, it was so ironic. This legend, this great waterman that I admired and loved so deeply that I became his supervisor. So I made Jimmy the legend he was here in town with all the young lifeguards. I made sure they all knew him and his spirit was reborn again. He was so good. We were riding Weber, Australia, and he had an aluminum fin, yeah, and a ring. And he'd sit there and bing, bing, you know, his fin. And he could hit, he could, somebody shoulder hop, and he could take off, hit him, give him a ding, not even fall off, and go around and make the wave look back and say, well, that's what you get. So he was the best. What a guy. What a guy. Always a heart, you know. I love to see Jimmy every time, you know, surfing pipeline when he was at the tower there. Surfing Sunset when he was hanging out at the tower. All the lifeguards, thank you so much. You guys are all a family. <laughs> and I'm grateful to know you all. Thank you very much. I owe Jimmy a lot. He really introduced me into lifeguarding and, and just his whole um, persona of, of being an ocean man. And just his knowledge of the ocean. And his, his knowledge of, of uh, just the whole Hawaiian community here in the surfing community. And I want to be the spokesman for my family, the Hoes, because they're kind of quiet. But they grew up with Jimmy very well. And I'm just a little freckle face kid. And I just want to say thank you and aloha. Long, we've all been close and all been brothers. And, and then, you know, and we all loved Jimmy and we all hated Jimmy. <laughs> we, all, we all had something. We, all, we always had an, an, an emotion for him. You know, it's just, and, and uh, you know, he'll always be, you know, he'll always have a place in, in, in a lot of hearts. And, and as far as legends and legendary, he's right up there in all the categories that, you know, that you want to list. I thank you. Thanks, Jimmy, what, the first life about he was down there. And he's the first guy, uh, you know, who knew the ocean, you know. No. I gotta mention, Jimmy was a good tennis player. One thing that I always take is, as myself trying to find my way in life, whenever I come across somebody and they would say, you're Jimmy's nephew? Whoa, that's your uncle? I mean, that's, it gave me like instant credibility. And whether you need that or not, it was pretty cool. And it was my first serve at Moana Bowls. It was huge, it was crowded, and I was very intimidated. There was a guy out in the water that ruled that peak that day. I couldn't believe the sky. Paddled out, took off every set away, got back out there again so quick. I paddled over to my friend and said, Who the hell is that guy? He goes, That's Jimmy Bliss. Hello, hi, Jimmy. God bless. All the material things mean nothing. If you share and give, that is what life is all about. There's a person who taught me this, and I'm going to share with you. Her name was Ralph Sun. She said, Polly, be the first to give, give the most. And when you have nothing left to give, give some more. And if you live that creed, then life will come to you. Thank you.